Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial video, we are going to show about how to do uh, Arcblader interface with a PC or a laptop. Uh, I give the full documentation in Notion. Uh, it is in my description. Uh, it, it will give a step-by-step -step process, a uh, GitHub link. And, and before that, we need to create our ROS workspace for dump the Arcblader package into SRC folder. It is a source folder I already mentioned in previous tutorials. That tutorials also I give in my description. After cloning your uh, RP LiDAR uh, GitHub link into the terminal, give catkin make, escape from SRC folder and give catkin make. After making catkin make, it will be created three main files and build all the things into the source folder. After that, navigate to that RP LiDAR package by using a linux basic command cd for executing the directory like that and go to launch file and launch or uh, there are uh, nodes are available for a1 ladder and we are using a1 ladder before that plug your ladder into usb port of laptop or in pc and follow the second to enable the port or to identify which port is enabled by the rp ladder usb cable and it will be show two lines like in a red color ttu tty uh, usb 0 that is an uh, rp ladder port value and after that we need to enable that port by using a sudo command chmod for giving an admin privilege like uh, user group like that we need to give the permission for that port after uh, entering the password and all the things First, uh, insert the uh, USB cable into the PC and identify the port value and enable that port value. And after that, I give the links uh, or launch file um, links in my Notion description. And it will be followed by step by step process. And copy that uh, link for running the RP ladder with the RVs. And I give the two uh, launch file setup in that uh, notion description one is launch with uh, rvs and another one is without uh, rvs rvs is nothing but is a visualization software uh, we can visualize the sensors data and uh, we can do the analysis of that data and now the rvs is launched with uh, rp ladder output is a scanned output it will be identified the dynamic object which are available on environment and See that red color is an object or an obstacle with with static movement and dynamic movement. And and another link is for without always uh, uh, we can uh, visualize without always uh, data like uh, ROS topic eco scan. It will be show the numerical values in a terminal and i launch without always and go to another terminal and type ros topic eco scan okay now i type ros topic list it will list what are the topics are run in our environment after that type ros topic eco scan enter it it will be show the numerical values that are the dynamic obstacles which is moving on environment and using this we can do the mapping process it's in 2d letter Using this uh, data, we can do the mapping process and uh, make the autonomous wheel robot. In upcoming video tutorial, we will be based on mapping, how to do the mapping, and how to do the navigation stack using RP Ladder. Thank you.